The second Tuesday of Roland Garros is traditionally the night on which the champions of the previous year are honoured. But this year's gala dinner is a triple celebration. The 2012 champions, 50 years at the Fed Cup, and the centenary of tennis's governing body, the International Tennis Federation. number one of the world, of course, you carry the certain responsibility to represent your sport in the best possible way on and off the court. So um, I'm still learning, I'm, I'm still uh, relatively young and, and getting to know the, that kind of sensation of, of being the top of the game. You know, I think ITF is doing a great job with, with Davis Cup and you know, trying to promote the game and, and get it more popular in some areas of the world where it's, uh, uh, where it's still not as popular as some other sports. So, it's, it's a very global sport, it's individual sport, so there's a lot of potential. We just need to get together and to, to work towards, uh, towards that goal. Serena Williams. I worked really hard last year and, you know, I just think everything paid off and this is a great way to kind of celebrate that. Looking to the future, spotting some six, seven-year-olds watching you playing tennis now, what do you want them to think? Well, just enjoy yourself and you can be the best that you can be if you just believe. It's going to be the last time and it's a little weird, it's a little uh, awkward to be here now knowing that this is going to be the last time. Um, but maybe that makes it even more special. I mean, it's, um, it's always great to be here and it's always been special. Uh, but then, yeah, the last time, yeah, I don't know. It gives me goosebumps thinking of not coming back here anymore. Uh, Multi tennis has gone to a great development, and um, I'm, I'm glad that I was part of that. I hope I can be part of that in the future as well, but I could never do it without my parents and my brother. You know, I was there at the beginning, and there's been so much development in wheelchair tennis, and the ITF is working so hard to, you know, give the wheelchair tennis the professional platform that it wants and needs and deserves. Um, and it's it's awesome to see. And, um, so for me, I'm really hoping that I can still, you know, help with the development and and you know bring my knowledge and enthusiasm about wheelchair tennis into uh, into the sport. Because of this accident that changed my life, um, I had the opportunity to go back to sports. I was 25 when it happened, so most of the time that the end the end of the, your career as a sportsman. But for me, it took me back to sport. Everyone has something which has happened in his life. Everyone. But then life is the show is going on and then and then it depends only on what you're gonna do after you felt. So you can always do something. Even if something is missing. <laughs> I'm really honored to be here and um, it's so nice because this is one of the goals that I set for last year, so just being able to celebrate it like this and be at such a formal event is so nice. I feel like um I want to accomplish a lot in singles, but as well in doubles. I don't want to be you know, just a singles player. I want to do both, and I want to excel in both. So that's my goal. Uh, so far, it's my biggest achievement of my career. So it's a great honor to be named world champion and to have had such a good year last year. So I'm very excited to be here. And the ITF had the tournaments I needed to develop as a player and compete with the top juniors in the world, so I think that was a big role in my uh, development as a player and now I'm ready to go into the pros and uh, try to keep the success going there. We play many matches, many good matches, we start to be in confidence, so uh, I think also we are very friend outside the court, so this helps on the court to, to know better each other and play well.
Roberta, it's the 100th anniversary of the ICF. We look through the black and white film and we see lots of sliced backhands. But you'll have the last sliced backhand in women's tennis. Yeah. Are you going to teach it to youngsters in future? <laughs> it's difficult, it's difficult, but uh, yeah, why not? It's, uh, it's nice to play a backhand and a sliced backhand and uh, maybe in the future. Oh, it was a great year. 2012 was uh, maybe our favorite year because we won the gold. Uh, you know, that's probably our greatest achievement. It was a great summer. We uh, won the U.S. Open, so we won a slam last year. But uh, the last 12 months have been uh, pretty special. We'll actually continue our, our momentum off uh, last year. We're having a great year this year, too. You know, we're always trying to grow this game. Um, the fans love it. The hardcore tennis fan uh, plays doubles, and uh, they really enjoy coming to watch us and the other doubles teams play. But it's not on TV as much as it should be, um, so there's not really a lot of double stars. So we're uh, we're going around trying to spread the gospel of this great game. Um, you know, the ITF's obviously done a, a bunch with Davis Cup. Showcasing that Saturday is uh, is huge. It's really the biggest um, you know biggest stage for doubles. But yeah, we're going to be continuing um, playing as long as we can, and hopefully after we retire, uh, help keep doubles in its rightful place. And now is uh, on behalf of the ITF Board of Directors. It's my great pleasure to present the Philippe Chatier Award 2013 to Philip Brook, the chairman of the All England Club. I think it's a, a fantastic honour. It would be a fantastic honour to receive this accolade, we are only the 18th organisation uh, to have received it, but, but it's particularly special this year with it being the centenary year of the ITF and it means such a lot to the All England Club. It, it is, in our view, uh, very nice of the ITF actually to recognise the history and the tradition of our club in this, in this way, on this evening, on this occasion.